William Hedeman administers the EPA's Superfund program. It was very easy to take wastes that no one really knew what to do with and put them in a Cecil County type operation or any of the other thousands of sites similar to that that we're dealing with in the country. Mr. Hedeman, tell us a little bit about the background of Superfund, where it came from, how it was established, how it operates. Superfund uh, was enacted into law at the end of 1980 in the last days of that Congress. Uh, it was in response to the problems that we had in Love Canal and other sites that began to come to the attention of the American people in the latter part of the 1970s. Uh, when there was a recognition that there was really no federal law that could deal with the problems of abandoned hazardous waste sites. And in addition, um, very few state laws that had that capability. So Congress enacted a law to protect the public health and welfare. It created a $1.6 billion trust fund to deal with the problems of abandoned hazardous waste sites. 87% of the money in the trust fund comes from a tax on the chemical and petrochemical industries. The rest comes from general revenues. With Superfund, EPA now has the authority to help states that ask for assistance, as was the case in Cecil County.